Bomb shooting happening in the southwest section of the city. We have this story covered from numerous angles. We do. Chopper 13 is there. So is Tom George and Parker Collins. Let's get right out to Parker now with the latest. Just moments ago, we got an update from police. Here's what we're looking at so far. And more and more resources keep driving past this tape, keep driving to where all the action is. So police are saying it started around 10. They got a call about a couple fighting. Possibly when they got to the scene, they found this guy in front of a home with a rifle. We just learned that he fired at them and they fired back. They're not sure if he's hit. They do know that no officers were hit, no officers were injured yet. Here's the thing, and they really could not answer this in the press conference. Does this guy have any hostages? Is anybody in danger right now? That is what they're working on. That is what they cannot tell us. And that is why there are so many moving parts. They moved us so far back because that is still up in the air. So I know we've got this covered from a lot of different locations. I know Tom is also here on the ground. I can't even see him. That is how far away from me he is. But Tom, what can you see where you are? Yeah, well, we're on the other side of this, but there are a lot of homes in this area right now. I want to give you a quick look at what's going on right here. Initially, they just had the main road blocked off, but if you look a little bit to the left, they've started to block off the side streets as well. If you look on Google Maps uh, where this incident happened, all these little side streets with homes all connect to each other. So uh, we've seen neighbors have to turn around. Uh, obviously, a very uh, potentially dangerous, scary situation for them because uh, it's not clear which house it is, you know, how close it is to them. But they've blocked off uh, some of these neighborhoods now, which is uh, within the last 10 minutes they've done that, in addition to the main road while they continue to investigate. And in just the last couple of minutes, we also saw two large SWAT trucks heading down that way towards the scene where this is going on. Obviously, they want to end this peacefully. We just heard a few minutes ago during the press conference, you know, they want, they're want they speaking out to them directly, saying they want this to end safely, and they're doing everything they can to make that happen. For now, reporting live, Tom George, 13 Action News. Okay, thank you, Tom and Parker out there on the ground. You can see you're looking right now live at Chopper 13 over the area. The Chopper is actually located over at uh, Decatur and Silverado uh, Ranch area, keeping a distance from the scene so that we can obviously cooperate with officers and SWAT as they work to end this. Right, and so this all began, as we know right now, around 10 o'clock this morning with a report of a domestic disturbance call. Uh, police officers arrived to this home here on the Coastal Coral Cactus Street, and once they arrived there to this home, they were confronted apparently by a man armed with a rifle. Now we're just getting in some scanner uh, sound right now of that initial confrontation. Let's listen to it once again. Multiple shots fired. Anybody hit? Anybody hit? Team Action Team is not hit. Guys, make sure you got a target. Oh, are you guys okay? We're code four. I cannot see him. All right, so just there you hear the very uh, emotional police officers there responding to this scene after shots were fired at those officers. Uh, fortunately, indications are right now that no officers were injured. Now, officers did return fire, but at this hour, it's not clear if the suspect was shot. And they are also asking residents to please stay indoors at this time. If you live in the area, if you know anyone around there, we're going to take a break and we'll be back.